champ is here! The champ is here! How's it going everybody? My name is Nick. I also go by Golden Guy and I am your coach of the Philadelphia Pincers. And yes, you heard that right. The champ is here. We are the YCL YouTube Competitive League Season 8 reigning champion. We took on Pokeball last season in the uh, finals match. Ended up getting some Thunder Wave hacks and coming away with the dub. And ultimately, just taking it on the season. We had one loss in the season, and we are looking to either do just as good, or if not better, this season. I'm your coach of the Philadelphia Pincers, and yeah, this is my draft recap. Um, we had pick number... There's 16 teams, so we had pick number 14, I think is what it was. Oh, that's a lot of teams, and we were pretty close to the end. That's all I know. But we had 95 points to draft 10 to 12 mons for the season or for the draft. Uh, those mons ranged anywhere from, I think it was 19 down to one point. And you could pick 10 to 12 of them. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, for Terra rules, we had nine points to divvy out to any of our six pointer below mons as long as they added up to nine points and so up to two or three uh mons and make those our terra captains everybody got access to the stellar terra type in addition to three other types one of which had to be a stab type at least so that being said it's the same rules that ycl is was founded on it's item claws which I think it makes a lot of fun, gets us to move things around, can't run leftovers on everything, makes us use different items, become a little bit more creative in our building, which is where I think I like to thrive. And yeah, hopefully we can come away with another championship, defend the championship or defend the title for this season and go back to back, baby. That's what we're here for. We've got a great front office that's always available to us whenever we need it. They put in the work, and yeah, that's what we're going to be looking forward to for this season. Now, that being said, let's show you what we've got for the draft. We started off with none other than Manaphy. By the time draft rolled around to pick 14, I was looking and I'm like, I honestly, I don't know what I want. Um, a lot of things that I wanted to try out, like uh, I think it's Gouging Fire, Iron Boulder, just some new to new toy syndrome mons, right? They all got picked up, and I was like, I really don't know what I want. Dragapult went just like three picks before that. And it's normal, you know, that's my that's not, that's a mainstay over here on the channel. And I was like, I don't know. So I was looking around and I was reading the rules, and I noticed Takeheart's not banned for this league, and I was like mistake yeah so we grab man if you first round can't go wrong starting with a mythical base 100 stats across the board we can tailor it however we need maybe you'll see a physical man if nobody ever preps for a physical man if you know what i'm saying but you get access to take heart what is take heart you might ask for those for those of you that haven't been around or don't haven't been following what the new moves do take heart is essentially calm mind mixed with uh refresh i guess or it's like built-in hydration or heal heal belt maybe but solo i don't know it's calm mind and it gets rid of any status that we may have so you can't talk to toxic me and whittle me down over time i'm just gonna get rid of that with tape art we also get access to uh heart swap i do believe is the word there is the move, and that means that if our opponents are setting up on us, I can just hit the heart swap button. I'm going to get all those stats in place of them. So that's pretty cool as well. Manaphy, it's just some great overall watermon. Has the speed to run Scarf. Can also go really bulky if we need it to. And I'm looking forward to actually using it. It's one of the uh, mons on the team that I haven't had the opportunity to use. And as you can see, it was a 15-point mon. And so we're, we started off swinging slightly big. Not as big as we could have been. There were some mons left that were a bit higher. And I think there still are on the board. But we ended up rocking with Manaphy for our first pick. For our second pick, we picked up 
Gudra Hasui. My buddy Alan, he's been rocking this thing for the past couple of leagues that I've been watching him with, and it is so difficult to take down. I've used Gudra in the past, and now I'm like, okay, let me get a steel type, because I always struggle to get steel types later on in the draft. Let me go ahead and get it. It's also a dragon type that hits pretty hard as well. And I'm like, this thing's bulky, can set up with iron defense, or acid armor or shelter, I believe, not, maybe not iron defense. Body press things down to absolute nothing. We can rock the shell armor ability so we can't get crit in return. Gooey to slow things down. Sap Sipper to give us that uh, grass immunity to help out that number one pick, you know what I'm saying? And electric type attacks that pretty much bounce off this thing. Great assault vest user as well. We're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Can't wait to use it. Absolute spideth monster, and yeah. Next up, we had Alolan Ninetales was still on the board. If you watched the uh, BBR Summer League the tournament that I was in back recently, I had Alolan Ninetales on that team, and we were, we were rocking it. We made it pretty far in that tournament. Well, ultimately, we ended up losing, but we had Alolan Ninetales, and I was like, okay, let me grab it. Gives me the fairy type I need or I, I like to have at least. Um, freeze dry, it's a spammable move uh, in these recent generations. Lots of things, like you don't really have a good resist for it. Fires off Moonblast, sets up Aurora Veil with the uh, snow warning. It's gonna be an absolute fantastic. It also gives us access to a uh, potential slight weather team should we wanna go that route. We could pick up a snow uh, slush rush abuser later on if we ended up wanting to. And yeah, I mean, it just hits pretty hard on the special side, gets access to some cool tech. Uh, ultimately, though, I wanted it for Aurora Bell, force people to bring Brick Break, Defog against me, and it'll allow Gudra Hasui, Manaphy, and some of the rest to set up pretty freely. In the fourth round, we ended up grab grabbing Crocodile. I wanted a strong dark type. I wanted something that I was familiar with. Good, good ground type as well, because we want to be able to absorb those electric type attacks that are going to be coming in or that Manaphy. Ultimately, we wanted to support Manaphy as much as we could as long and have some great offensive pressure on our opponents. I had Crocodile on championship team last season. I do believe he's the only returning member, if I remember correctly. Great Scarf user, Moxie Earthquake, Moxie Knockoff, whatever have you. Sets up Stealth Rock, Intimidate's a great ability as well. Maybe I'll run Anger Point to just flex on him. Next up, we have our first Terra Captain. Hitmonchan was sitting down there, and I was like, it's about midway through the draft. I want to pick up a decent Terra Captain, one that I can reliably bring almost every week. And Hitmonchan was just sitting there. It's got a decent speed stat in 76, but it has access to things as uh, Rapid Spin. So this is a uh, hazard remover option for our team. Rapid Spin is going to increase our speed as well. And we are hitting like a truck, Terra fighting, uh, fighting attacks. You don't really have switch in. In addition to that Iron Fist ability, you don't really have much of a switch in to that. Um, and yeah, I mean, we get access to things like Bullet Punch and Mock Punch for priority, and close combat, Drain Punch, longevity is in there. And I'm looking so so forward to using Hitmonchan in the season. I've used it in the past on a team, on a couple teams, I believe. And yeah, but our other Terra Captain, or Terra type, are gonna be the Steel and the Fairy type. Steel <clears throat> was obviously to hit those fairies that want to resist us. And then Fairy was, was a fairy? I thought it was dark. It might be dark, maybe it's not fairy. Dark was to hit Psychic types and Ghost type, so I'm pretty sure it was Dark. I'm gonna have to check back on that. I think I may have messed that one up in the layout, but oh well. Either way, I think it's gonna be a great Terra Captain for the team. It's gonna be one that can reliably come every week, and yeah. Next up is Decidueye. So, right before I picked Decidueye, I had Sosa. He was the pick after me, and then obviously before me on the next coming round. He picked up Galarian Weezing right as I was about to. So I was like, okay, the defogger that I wanted is gone. So let me pick up the, I was gonna pick up Decidueye anyway. So let me just go ahead and get it because I want a good defogger. Uh, Decidueye can be ran both physical and special. Choice Band Poltergeist hits like an absolute truck. 
We can also run choice spec sets. Uh, has the pivot, has the recovery and roost, has priority and shadow sneak. I've used it again. This was on that uh, BBR summer scramble team, baby. You're going to see a couple familiar faces from that team. They just happen to work well together, and that's what we're going to be rocking with. Uh, next up for the team, we pick up a slush rush abuser as well as another rapid spinner. We wanted to get rid of, or help. we wanted to get as much hazard removal as we could because we really didn't want to deal with the hazards and we want to like just keep them away. Uh, obviously, Snake Slash Alola was on that uh, BBR uh, turn eight team with the Nine Tails. I learned during that tournament that I liked using that combination. I think it works very well together. And Sand Slash being the steel, another steel type, another ice type. So it's types that we already had on the team. Maybe I could have gone without it, but I wanted something to help abuse that snow, give me something to use. And it hits pretty hard on the offensive side. It has a great move pull and it could potentially be another Terra Captain should we want to shuffle some things around. Next up, my got Wigglytuff. And you're like, why Wigglytuff? Well, my buddy Jeremy drafted my uh, number one mod, Dragon Ball, right? Wigglytuff's the ultimate counter. Can't hit it with Stab. It doesn't really have anything else to hit it with. Frisk is an absolutely amazing draft ability, especially one in a mono or uh, item clause type draft. So I can figure out what those things are carrying. I get access to Wish. Has access to competitive for any other Intimidate mons or something along those lines. Um, I use Wigglytuff pretty well. I've had it on a few teams in the past and I'm looking forward to using it again. Next up. Our second Terra Captain, and our last Terra Captain as of right now, Flareon. Access to Flash Fire. You're looking at the team and you see Sand Slash Alola, weak to fire. Desidui, weak to fire. Ninetales Alola, weak to fire. Let's grab the Flash Fire Mon. <clears throat> it also has access to Guts. This is a fantastic um, Terra Captain. This is another one of Alan's favorites. I've been picking up some uh, heat. I've used it in the past as a Terra Captain. Absolutely phenomenal, especially as uh, with grass of that Terra type because I'm getting rid of the ground build or the ground weakness that it initially has. With Flash Fire, you can't hit me with those fire moves, and it's pr it's pretty hard. It's all it also has access to Wish Baton Pass. Um, setup, Trailblaze. Let's rock it. Barriers there for uh, just a couple things, a couple techs that I've come up with recently, and I'm hoping to use it during this season. And yeah, we've got three more picks ahead of us. So we did use all twelve. We got, used all twelve of our picks for all ninety-five points. I probably could have spared some, pushed them up, got some other things, but I didn't want to make my team overtly weak to certain types. And yeah, so we're gonna use all twelve. Next up, we got Clawwitzer. You're like, man. Another water type, another solo water type. Well, the team was lacking in the special attack department as of this point in the draft. And I was like, okay, I like Clawitzer. I've used it hard. I've used it before. Hits hard on the special side. Lots of things. There aren't many things that can uh, switch into it freely. And it gets access to momentum like flip turn and U-turn. So let's use it. Let's pair it up with this. Let's flip turn on out and U-turn on out of there come into the bigger threat and just start hitting buttons. That's what we want to do with this team. We want to just hit buttons, make our opponent do the majority of the thinking during the match. And Clawwitzer is one of those things that can do that. Now, I told you that Sand Slash Olola could be a Terra Captain, should I need it to. I would have to get rid of Hitmon, or I'd have to drop it from Hitmonchan at that point which means I have an extra four points. Well, look who's in the four point category and that is Clawwitzer. Clawwitzer would make a fantastic uh, Terra Captain as well. And yeah, hopefully if we, we, we might be able to see that throughout the season. Next up, I said I couldn't get Galarian Weezing earlier. So guess what? I got Weezing. I like using Weezing. It has a fantastic shiny. Um, it's a defensive check. I needed a poison type. I wanted a poison type. I wanted to get out some toxic spikes if I could. I wanted access to haze. Uh, levitate is a fantastic ability for this team because we were rather ground weak. Um, this also allows us to take on fighting attacks. 
because poison resist fighting it's pretty simple I like using Galarian Weezing. I haven't used Weezing in a Draft League format before, but I'm hoping that it turns out. I could also use this as a Terra Captain as well, being that it is five points. Levitate and Neutralizing Gas are going to be, are going to be what you see me running it with. And yeah, now we, we have, I think, 14 points remaining at this point in draft. So we're going into our last pick, and there was lots of things that I could have grabbed. But, I needed another crown to resist and I needed another fighting resist for the team or else I was like just overtly weak to those types and I didn't like that. And I don't have that fast electric type that I like to use yet. So what did I end up going with? None other than Thunderous Incarnate Form. Prankster Thunder Wave, baby! Are you ready, Baldy? I'm bringing Thunder Wave back. It also has access to Defiant as an ability. Much like the Wigglytuff, Defiant's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to use this fast electric type. This is the fastest mod on the team, unfortunately. Um, it also adds on to our special attack stat, which was severely lacking, even with the Clawwitzer pickup. This thing can be ran physical or special, doesn't matter which, but I'm hoping to just throw off some Thunder Waves and make my opponents miserable. All of that being said, that is the team, ladies and gents. This is your Season 9 YCL Philadelphia Pincer team. I'm hoping to have a lot of fun with it. I may be able to make some transactions here or there. Um, it's got a lot of threats. It's not just one-dimensional. My opponents are going to have a difficult time, I think, prepping for it. And yeah, that's what we're going with. Just remember, I'm coming in, I'm trying to be back to back, and yeah, that's pretty much all there is. My name's Nick, I also go by Golden Guy, and I'm your coach of the Philadelphia Pincers, and we'll be seeing you this season, guys. Peace.